Benson Boone is interviewing me today, which I'm not opposed to. Yeah, me neither. But what would you say you used to do on your free time? Because I asked you what you do on your free time, and then you said running the lake, and you're like, oh, I know that's such a lame answer. Scroll like, on like Bumble. Yeah, Let, like, let's go a little before that. Oh, uh, okay. What would I do in my free time? Uh, I mean, I guess go to shows, man. Like, really, like live music's kind of my thing. So that's number that's, one. That's a solid answer. Are you yeah. like an outdoors guy? Do you like to stay inside? You know what? Outdoors, I can't sit still. Dude, me neither. I Holy cannot God. sit still. I was literally just gonna ask yeah. if you wanted me to stand up. No, you could stand. I'll stand. Whatever you, could squ- whatever you want. Whatever makes Benson Boone. By the way, Benson Boone is such like a good name. I want to say Benson Boone every time. You like, can, br- you like, can, you can say Benson Boone every time. Like Brady Broski, Benson Boone. Brady like, Broski. Not, like, is that actually your last name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> first time in Chicago. Second time. Oh, cool. But, but like, first time, like, spending time here. You last hang. last time I came, I wasn't here for very long. I know you're a little, uh, a little tired, a little nappy because you just had some deep dish. Yeah, but me interviewing you has kind of woken me up a little bit. Oh, uh, so. good, good. Any other questions? <laughs> um, favorite outdoor activity. Outdoor okay. activity. Let, let, let me actually, yeah. let me actually give you a scene. Okay. Oh. Let's say you're in Washington State, mm-hmm. where there's just. In the summer, mm-hmm. nature for days. There's like lakes, backpacking. You could do whatever you want. What would you do if you had one day to do anything you want? Is weed legal in Washington State? Let's, yeah. Hike and smoke. That's pretty solid. Right? Like, that's a good are day. You, are you like a hike to a lake guy or like a hike to I don't like to hike. Guy? I don't like bugs. Okay. You know what I mean? They, like, well, bu- who likes bugs? <laughs> you know what my favorite thing is? Bugs. Who says that? I don't know anyone. Zero people. That. Negative people. Negative. Okay. That's a good question. You're really good at this. Thank you so much. You know what much. else you're good at is performing. I saw you in Nashville. Um, really? How was that experience like a couple it of was, years ago? It was pretty great, actually. Mm-hmm. I was opening for Kane Brown. And yeah, Nashville is just, I haven't spent much time in the city because every time I go there, it's more, you know, I go there to write a Business-y. song and then I'm out. Yeah. Um, but it was really nice. Everyone is just so nice and supportive about the music because I guess it's like the city of music. So. I think they call it Music City, yeah. USA. Yeah. Uh, they used to call it that. Yeah, I don't know if it still is, but where are you based out of now? Vegas. Really? I know. That's, yeah. that's not the Music City it's of, not. of the USA. But there's a lot going on. That Yeah, that's one way to put it. Um, <laughs> the Strip is kind of like a whole other world. Mm. I'm on the very west end of Summerlin, so I'm like outside of the strip okay i never go there i, I hate the strip so taking my wife for her birthday there uh I never i love the strip i love so, it so but where <laughs> where should we go where what's like a thing that a local would suggest i went to um is it urban rye urban rye urban rye do you know what that is it's a restaurant yeah yeah oh yeah, I know okay all right well what, what would benson boone suggest for a for a little fun dinner or, or something that we have to do that's that the locals like in vegas oh that's such okay in my honest personal opinion, yeah. I feel like the best food is actually outside the strip. But I don't want to suggest that because outside the strip, it's not as cool as eating in the strip. I don't care about a cool. I care about like the taste that's going into my mouth. The taste that's going into your yeah. mouth. Well, what kind of food do you like? Do you, are you like a do you love a good steak? Do you yeah. like sushi? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yes. The answer is yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, well, if you have if you if you need some sushi spots, I can. I can I can slip you some okay. under the table. Yeah, so that'd be great. Yeah, yeah. but it. steak spots. I I really just I don't know what to say. I want to help you out here, but like, yeah. I'm not the biggest. Like I'm not the best foodie. Okay. Like I'm not the best at finding the best places. That would be my friend John Chen. I will get you a list. This is my promise to you. When do you come? Uh, August sixth through eighth. So okay. literally in a couple weeks. I will get you a list of the best spots because I have a lot of friends there that have grown grown up there. So like they know the best spots. Love I will it. get you some good spots, good things to do, and if you need to if you need to say hello to your friend Benson Boone, he will be around. Is Benson Boone home? That's what I'm gonna say when I call your house. Yeah, and then here wait, let's see. Brady Broski, what's up? Is Benson Boone home? Benson Boone is home. Why are you asking? Oh, is this Benson Boone? Yeah, it's me, Benson Boone. <laughs> Benson Boone, uh, I'm coming over. We're going to hang out, and we're also going to go to find some great sushi in your city of Las Vegas. Holy crap. Okay, lucky for you, I have a list of spots that I've already made because I promised you I would. And they're in my hand. Cool. Thanks, Benson Boone. I'll be right over. Okay, bye. Bye. You, you say bye first. Oh, oh. bye. You, you hang up first. Okay.
That's how it used to happen. Dude. Like this. Oh my god. Same level. Same level. Wow. We just became broskies. Yeah. Um, so we, let's talk about your music. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we should maybe touch uh, on that topic. Walk Me Home. Yeah. Right? A couple weeks away. It is. The, the, the build, the excitement, it's all there. Because how long have you been doing this? Like, uh, how, how long has this process been going on for? Like the making of this EP? Mm -hmm. About like 11 months. So that's a long time. Yeah. Put all your energy into this one day. Pressure? What are you thinking? Um, it's it's. I feel like I'm I'm not a great person to ask about pressure because sometimes I feel like zero pressure, and in the situations where I shouldn't feel pressure, I feel all the pressure. So I guess like. This is just something that I'm proud of, mm -hmm. and no one's gonna change that. So, I'm proud of it, and if you don't like it, well. You don't like it. If you love it, you love it. But this is like this is my EP. This is what I think is my putting my best foot forward. And so, I'm just proud to say that it is finally coming out. Are you gonna be home when it when it comes out? Like the day of? Do you have plans for that day, or are you just kind of like business as usual, working? I actually have a concert in LA that day. Oh, so yeah. like the day it drops, I will be performing all of those songs. Wow. Yeah. That'd be epic. It, it will be epic. So cool. And then what's your story like music-wise? Like how did you get involved in it? What inspired you? I like to hear these stories because a lot of people, they kind of started off like a really young age playing piano, whatever, mm -hmm. and then they just followed that dream. Is that the, Was that the same for you? No. that is. It's like very the opposite. So I kind of grew up, I grew up in Washington and very outdoors, sports all the time, like active and that's just how I was. Never into music until my senior year of high school. I did like a Battle of the Bands competition and I was just going to play the piano for my friend's band. Long story short, the singer ended up quitting and then I had to sing and I just found out I could sing. And it was like, so I, I literally have known I can sing for like a little under three years now. Oh my God. That's an, an insane story. That never happened. So your senior year in high school, you were doing all the other things. Then all of a sudden you're like, oh, I can turn this into a career. Yeah, yeah. So I, how, did you, how, did you, how did you get from that moment on your senior you know, talent show or whatever uh, to like where you are now? Did you just start like, wow, I need to do this. Who do I need to talk to? How, did that, how does that go from there to where we are today? Yeah, well, luckily it was kind of when TikTok was like starting to become more of a thing and yeah. so I'm like okay cool I'll post some videos and I, I didn't even start out posting singing videos I did like just goofy entertainment videos and then I'm like okay it's time I did a singing video and it did horrible horrible so I was so embarrassed and I was like goodness gracious <laughs> never mind what are you thinking Benson Boone I know damn you <laughs> literally and then the next week I was like you know what I'll give it another shot and I did and then it blew up and I was like there we go. That's what I'm talking was about. Was it original so, songs? It, no, I didn't even... Well, the reason I said I've been working on this EP for 11 months, I've only been writing music that long. Oh so, like, God. I hadn't written anything. It was just covers. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I was just doing covers, and they started to blow up, and then that's when, like, American Idol happened, and that kind of ball took off. Yeah. Wow, it's been a roller coaster three years then. Yeah. Crazy. It has been really, really crazy. Yeah. Um, what are you looking forward to, to doing the most? What do you want your your fans and our listeners to know? Like Benson Boone has, you know, wants to leave a legacy of something. What would that thing be? Besides doing this interview with Brady Broski, um, cross that off the list. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would definitely say I just <laughs> want to inspire people to do what they love. I, I think like music is such a it's such a crazy industry, and I have the opportunity to perform in front of a lot of people. And I, every time someone comes to see my show, I, j I just want them to leave like feeling inspired to do what they love. Because they are seeing me do what I love, and that's just so inspiring for them that it's like, wow, Benson Boone just inspired me. What was your plan? Like, did you, before, because like, obviously this thing happened senior year, did you have something else that you were going to kind of line yourself up to do? Were you going to go to college? Were you going to jump in work? Were you just going to be you know, and living in mom's basement, like carefree. <laughs> not a bad, not a bad way to live, by it's, the way. It's not a bad game. No. Um, I actually went to college for a semester and I was studying architecture and interior design. Mm -hmm. That was kind of my plan. Um, Cause like, after I started singing senior year, it wasn't like all of a sudden I was like, this is what I'm doing the rest of my life. It was like, wow, I did not know I could do this, but I'm very passionate about it. And so 
it was more like an unrealistic dream to me. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, I was I was literally going to school because I do I do art like drawing and painting. So I wanted to use mm -hmm. the artsy that artsy side of me yeah. to do architecture interior design. And then it all changed when American Idol. We need to we need to combine the two like. It, they design a place, perform in said place that you designed. Mm -hmm. All comes. Brady together. Broski what do you think? sponsors it. Let's go. All right. Gears are turning. Let's do it. You ready for some song association? Um, you got to give me the emoji that pops in your head um, from Benson Boone songs. Okay. Ghost Town. The ghost one. It's the ghost. See, that's the obvious one. I was gonna go the school. Yeah, I was gonna go the money bag sign. The money bag, just because you know. It's, well, it's done well. Would you me. like to elaborate on that? <laughs> Is there something? Uh, how about in the stars? What are you gonna go with? Ooh. Uh, okay. Th I don't know how to explain this. You know the one where like, it's like, this the face you make before you cry, where your eyes are closed and you go. Oh uh, like yeah, like, you're, like the, all, you're on the verge. The like ducks are like working their like hardest. Like if someone sent you a text and you were in high school and they said, "Hey, we have an essay due tomorrow and no one knew about it and it's 11 p.m. and it's due at 12." It's the face. It's the emoji you would send after that. It's like, right, like kind of like that. Yeah. That one. I would say, is there a church emoji? That too. <laughs> that too. Ah, uh, that's a good one though. I like that. And then the last one. How about room for two? What do you? What emoji are you using? Oh my gosh! I can't even wait. Hold on. Get get your emoji face ready. Yeah. Dude, I don't even know. Is that it? Is <laughs> that the emoji? Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe it is. Yeah. Like, like oh, like like. Oh yeah. Shoulders up. Do you want what? what, what oh. Blonde, blonde or brown hair? What are you gonna do? Ooh, uh, red. Red? I don't think red's an option. I don't think it is so, either. Yeah. Brown. Brown. Okay. Brown hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like looks like you. Like, this is this is this yeah. is me. What? I'm gonna go the dancing the. The dancing girls, the yeah. two, the two together. That's what I'm gonna go with. Yeah, room for two. Yeah, I love it. That was um, a hard one. Yeah, it's pretty hard. Uh, five favorites, real quick, with Benson Boone. Appreciate the love and the time. Um, can't wait for the new EP coming out later this month. Walk me home. Five favorites, because I like to get to know artists that are just kind of met. So here we go. Favorite appetizer. Firecracker shrimp. Well, very specific. Easy. Ooh, I like that. It's so good. Nobody said that before. Get a little spice, and you got the shrimp too. The combination of the two. Yeah. And... Sometimes there's a place called Yard House, and sometimes I go there just to get the firecracker yeah. shrimp, and then I leave. Okay. Do you pay? No. No. no never. Never. Uh, sorry, waitresses. Summertime activity. Favorite summertime activity. Benson. Cliff jumping. Easy. Favorite comedian. Jim Gaffigan. Oh, so good. Hot pockets is like one of my favorite little bits. It is. It is so. F or <laughs> Brian Regan. That's good too. Wait. Do I have to pick? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Which one? What are you sticking with? Uh, I'm actually I'm actually probably gonna go with Brian Regan. Okay. Sports moment. Oh, Bengals when the guy in the, on the I don't I don't actually even know who it was. Mm. He scored a touchdown by doing a front flip over someone else. It was, it was the coolest. Because Madden esque. Very yeah. Madden esque. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and last one. Uh, five favorites: of Benson Boone. Favorite video game character. Uh, I don't play video games, but uh, I'll go with. Like Mario, or like um, you could go with um, uh, Donkey Kong, or like you know. I don't know. No. We, we need a little more. The like current, like no cooler. Cooler, cooler. Oh, cooler. Um, uh, what's the guy? Duke Nukem. <laughs> Duke Nukem. Yes. <laughs> Princess Peach. You forgot Princess Peach. Princess Peach. She was a boss. Well, she, she could fly. She was like kind of cute in a okay. video game let's way. Let's go. Let's go, Princess Peach. Fair. Okay. We'll go Princess Peach. And some Boone, everybody. Yes! Brady Broski, everybody. You know? Woo!